Hi everybody, I'm Starla. I'm Mick. And we are Our Fan Plays Games. Games. Yeah! <laughs> and welcome to our preview of Our Moon Ray 20th Anniversary Edition. Published by Alley Cat Games. Yeah. Designed by Raina Knizia. The legend. And art by Vincent Dutrois. Another legend. I tell you, family, glad you're here. But this is the big 20th anniversary edition because it's going to be a lot of stuff going on because it's going to be a crowdfunding campaign on GameFound on July 5th. And it's going to feature a lot of different mm -hmm. upgrades and stuff. Now, we were able to play the prototype, mm -hmm. so things are going to change or some things might stay the same. Now, the art is mm -hmm. going to stay the same, but the kind of like the uh, icons and stuff will change and a whole lot of other, you know, things will change, but it's going to be a beautiful production. I'm going to tell you that. Now, just don't take our word for it like we always say in our pre reviews, definitely check it out, mm -hmm. see if you like it, and go from there. But now Starla's going to tell us a whole bunch about the about the gameplay and do a little overview. So let's check it out right now. In ancient Egypt, ages pass and generations rise and fall under the watchful eyes of Amun Re. You are the leader of a royal family and will contend with other families to acquire provinces, build grand temples and pyramids, and cultivate your fields as the capricious Nile permits. At the end of Egypt's classical era, history will revere only one name above all others. Claim your place as the greatest pharaoh of all times. The game is played over two ages, the Old Kingdom and the New Kingdom. Each age consists of three rounds. Scoring takes place after each age. Each of the six rounds is played over the following four phases. Phase one, auction. Players bid against each other to acquire a new province. Phase two, market. Players spend gold to buy favors, farmers, and stones. Phase three, offering. Players make offerings to Amon Re. Phase four, harvest. Players earn gold from the provinces they control. After round six, the game comes to an end. The player with the most victory points at the end of the game is declared the winner and the greatest pharaoh. Now, yes. let's talk about this game. Yes, now, first off, family, you know, this has been out mm -hmm. 20 years. Mm -hmm. We don't have it in our collection. No. This is one of, uh, you know, Mr. K uh, Dr. Knizia's, uh, mm -hmm. you know, classics, and we don't have it. Mm -hmm. Now, we have a whole bunch of his other games, mm -hmm. some that'll rip up some families up around <laughs> here, you know, but, you know, it's something that we really do love, mm -hmm. and, and let me tell you. I, this was really interesting. It is an interesting, interesting game. Yeah. I don't know why we didn't have it. I don't know why. You know, I don't know why. Because I really enjoyed the prototype that yes. we, we had a chance to play. Yeah. It's the, the new version of it. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's colorful. Yeah. Well, the art of, you know, Vincent Dutrois, yes. you know, I mean, he's it's a legend. Colorful. You know, all the art he's done, yeah, you know. The so, yeah, the cards are beautiful yes. to look at. And so, diverse. And diverse. Yes. And so, diverse. I mean, I just think yes. the, the, the new uh, version of it is just gorgeous. Yes, it is. Because I had a chance to look at the old version it was really plain very plain so they have really up the ante on yes, this they one did. and made it something that people want to look at and when you put it on your table then let's be honest it takes up a lot of space yeah but it's gonna, a lot of it's gonna look good it's gonna look good it's gonna got table good. presence yes. it takes a lot of space but I, I think when we first got into it it was a little daunting when yeah. i saw the rules book and everything but after you figure it out you just got to take your time yes you do go step by step yes. and yes. it, it kind of lays out what your steps are mm -hmm. and if you follow the four steps of a turn, you'll be able to get into it. Yes. I think by the second turn, you'll have your a And you'll you be rolling after yeah, that. You'll be, you'll be rolling. rolling you'll be doing what you need and, to do. And so it's a really interesting game. And it's, mm -hmm. it's and once you know it, it's kind of fast. Yeah. Once we got into it, it was fast. It was fast. And 
we yeah. played a three player game. We actually yeah. got Grant to come to yes, the table. Yes, we did. We got him. We drug him on. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there is a two player version, yeah. but we did the three player. We're going to do three. Yeah, yeah. and it was, it was really interesting. And I, strategic. Very strategic. Very strategic. And, and I, I, like, I like the components. I like the yeah. little bricks that they had in there and the little pyramids. Yes. Yeah. They yeah. had a single. But everything's going to be better. It's well, going to be I, all I like, better. I like yeah. the, the, the be prototype looked really, yeah. really good. Uh, yeah. I know they need to make some improvements on some of the components, but I really like those pyramids because when you start putting those on the board, it just makes the game look so nice. It, it does. Yeah. And it's just, you know, you have to really be strategic in what provinces, mm -hmm. you know, you, you got to, you know, bid and mm -hmm. get provinces and stuff. You got to really be like, okay, will that one help me do the things I knew for, you know, goals that I need mm -hmm. to get more points? On the favorite cards. You know, on the favorite yeah. cards. Or does it help me, you know, buy more things, mm -hmm. you know, in the market phase, you mm -hmm. know, get more favorite cards and get more stones and, you know. And more you, farmers. You know, farmers. Mm -hmm. So you got to really, or how do I get more money? Yeah. You know, so it's all those things going on in your head mm -hmm. that makes it a really, really yeah. A good game. But I think yeah. that's, you know, that's what all of Knizia's yeah. games is Woo. always a strategy. you got to yeah. think and yes. overthink and think ahead and figure yes. out what you did last time. The evil bow tie man <laughs> always puts his mathematical <laughs> yes, stuff does. up there. Because you know he's a mathematical, mm -hmm. you know, doctor or whatever. Mm -hmm. So he puts all that in, his, yeah. in, in the games because, you know, like the one game. Mm -hmm that would tear up folk mm -hmm. is his lost cities. Yes. Lost cities mm -hmm. would tear up a couple, y'all, yeah. I tell you. Yes. But we love it, and you can really see the, you know, his his genius yeah. in it. And, and then, even in this one, you can see it. And this one, there's genius yeah. in this one, too. But yeah. I, I really, I kind of like the the um, bidding part in the beginning. Yes. Yes. So when you're bidding for provinces, what I like is that you can't take two provinces at a time. No, it's just you one. You can only get one. one. Unless you get bumped out of it. Right, but if somebody yeah. outbids you yes. or bumps you out, you got to go somewhere else. Yeah, so and you can't like, come back to the one that you got bumped back. out. Yeah. So yeah. I, I like that no matter what, you know yes. you're going to get something. You're going to get something. Now, I don't know what, but you're yeah. going to get something. You're going to get something. But, and, yeah. and, and, you know, if you're kind of bumped out, mm -hmm. it's kind of hard because you bumped me out. I did. And, cause, and then you negotiated one. <laughs> yes, I you're did. like, I, I, I want that one, Mick. I'm like, no, you know, I want, you know, <laughs> negotiate. We don't have no negotiation. Negotiate, but she got to negotiate. Yes. But it was, I kind of strong on you, yeah, but I really did it. But I don't know if it was a negotiation. But if you get bumped <laughs> out of it, you might go to a worse situation that you you want. But then you got to think about it now. Am I gonna mess mm -hmm. with my other opponent? Yeah. Am I going to mess with him mm -hmm. or just leave him alone? Because he'll mm -hmm. mess with me later on. Exactly. You know, so you got to really think about things yeah. and what the consequences might come at you yeah. if you're messing with folks. And in the beginning, you know, money's kind of limited. Oh, yes. So oh, you yes. got to be careful how much you bid. Yes. You know, because when I was trying to get this one province that I didn't want anyone else to get, and I knew you were coming after yes. me. Yes. It was like, okay, do I go three or do I go six to make him go ten? You want to make it you know, unappealing to yes. your opponent so they'll leave you yes. alone. Yes. Sometimes, because there's one that I wanted, and I think you went six, and the only way for me to get it was to be at ten. And no, I no. wanted it so bad it, that it, I took it. There was the one where I went ten, and you said, uh oh, and I said, come on, pay fifteen <laughs> yeah, for it. Come on, that. you didn't do that. Because I, no. I, I, I don't have fifteen. Yeah, I said, come on. I said, I, I put mm. ten on there because mm. I had some extra money. I said, go, come on, yeah. come on with it. And, so, and, yeah. and I also thought it was interesting how the farmers are utilized yeah. because the farmers actually help you get money. Yeah, they do. Help you get money, so you want farmers on your land so that you can help get money at the end. So you kind of think of the game. Yeah. You know how I like to think about how things work. So the farmers are the ones that's bringing you income. They're, they're yeah. farming the land and they help you get money. And those, far, and those yeah. uh, flavor, I mean the, the favorite uh, favorite, uh, favorite cards yeah. really kind of help you sometimes because mm -hmm. you know there's one that gives you you know an extra you know extra boost to your yeah, farmers. They do. You know uh, when it comes to money, mm -hmm. and it's a whole lot of other things that happen with those favorite yeah. uh, cards. So I mean I really like those. Yeah. I you found know. that you know as we got into the game, money was a little bit easier because yes. you started building up you your got building up your, yeah but yeah. that first or second round money was a little tight yes it was yeah. yes it was but you, you try to find ways to get around it and you keep do. going so yeah but it was overall a, yeah it's, overall it was, it's a solid game solid game as always as, with Canizia games yes solid strategic yes enjoyable makes you think makes you think love it so it's something that you really want to take a look at yeah. if you've never heard of almond ray yes go take a look at it take a look mm -hmm. at it and this new production of it the 20th it's anniversary is really something to see i tell you you're gonna really enjoy it now but again don't take a word for it check it out see what's going on yeah. it's coming to game found mm -hmm. on july 5th so check that out yes. and, and keep keep an eye on it and see what's going on but starla <laughs> starla where can they find OFPG in the land of the gods? <laughs> well, if you're looking for Our Family Plays Games, yes. you can find us on Facebook, yes. Instagram, yes. Twitter, yes. and right here on YouTube. Right here in the land of the forever pyramids. <laughs> Did I do it again? 
Yes. Oh, right, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> but hey, family, we want to thank you for coming out, checking it out, and seeing what's going on. And keep coming with questions, comments. We, we really like hearing from you. But there's one thing we always want to know, family. One thing. We love you. Bye, Bye now. Everybody.